They long uh, handled uh, bass rods for granted. Uh, they have not always been around. I want to share with you this morning the history of the long rod. Uh, in the late 70s, I had won two world championships. I met a young individual named Gary Klein from California. And back then, the only rods we had were the little short handle pistol grip uh, Blue Children's glass rods. Uh, they were all glass. The six footer was about as long as you could get. They all had short handles. Uh, that day, Gary Klein, this young 18, 19 year old aspiring angler, asked me if I could teach him how to crankbait fish. And so I took him out that day. And Gary Klein was a flipper from California, from the West Coast. He, all his rods were pretty well custom flipping sticks. They were long rods, seven foot rods, seven and a half foot rods made out of glass. But we, so we started fishing that morning and I'm throwing my little one-armed, uh, you know, uh, short rod. But halfway through the day, he picks up one of his flipping sticks and he ties on a crankbait. And I thought, well, that's kind of strange, you know. But immediately, I saw some advantages. First of all, the casting motion I had back then was like a baseball pitcher throwing a baseball. Okay. Well, at the end of the day, I destroyed both of my shoulders in high school football. And uh, at the end of the day, I was just in nothing but pain. Immediately I saw with Gary, he's doing this motion, like a surf caster with that long rod. And I could see the advantage almost automatically. Not only that, he was out throwing me by about 10 to 20 yards with less effort. So I really, I finally said, let me have one of those rods and just try that. And again, his rods were custom seven foot glass rods. And they were not being provided for bass fishermen back then. So when I got off that trip, I went back to Houston, Texas, went to a saltwater tackle store in Houston, Texas called Cut Rate Sporting Goods. And I had one of Gary's custom rods and I walked through that tackle store and I found finally, it's actually this, believe it or not, it's, it's this rod. And it was uh, a seven foot glass popping rod for speckled trout in saltwater. It was perfect compared to Gary's, and what was even more just a, a, a quirk of fate was it was the perfect action for my favorite style of fishing, which was crankbaits. And that became my rod. I was the first one, well, now I have to say Gary was the first one to use a seven-foot long handle rod in bass fishing, and, and glass is the key. Okay, let's just use that.